Hi folks, I'm Raz and in today's video I'm going to share with you Alt Academic Report Writing Task 1 Overview and Practice. So let's begin. Alright, so we have two tasks. First is Task 1 Report Writing Academic 150 to 180 words in 20 minutes. The other is Task 2 Essay Writing Both Academic and General 250 to 280 words in 40 minutes. So friends, in this video I'm going to share with you Task 1 Report Writing for Academic. Let's take a look at the task assessment. 25% goes to task achievement in which you need to answer everything you're asked to do in the question. The other 25% is coherence and cohesion. Use structured paragraphs and make standard expressions. The other 25% is lexical resource. Use wide range of vocabulary. And the last is grammar range and accuracy. 25% make sure you include different kinds of sentences ranging from simple, compound and complex. All right, let's take a look at the segregation of paragraphs. Paragraph 1 is introduction. Paragraph 2 is overview or summary. Paragraph 3 is make analyses and group comparisons of different years. And paragraph 4 is make analyses and group comparisons of remaining years. Now let's take a look at the types of the graphs so we can get it anything like a pie chart, bar graph, line graph, table, flow chart. So if you want to describe facts and figures, take help of bar graphs, describe trends through line graphs, comparison through tables and pie charts, describe a process diagram or map, and describe a flow chart. All right, so let's take a look at the recent exam question. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The chart below shows Morocco's income from different economic sectors in 2003, as well as its income from fishing from 1982 to 2003. Write a report for a university lecturer describing the information in the charts below. Write at least 150 words. Now here, we have a combination of a pie chart and a bar graph. The pie chart is for Morocco's income from various economic sectors in 2003. And then we have a bar graph which shows Morocco's income from fishing from 1982 to 2003. So let me present an idle answer that can help you score a good man. The pie chart compares revenue earned from six economic sectors by Morocco in 2003 and the column graph provides data on an annual income from the fishing industry between 1982 and 2003. Overall, tourism, manufacturing, and foreign remittance were the three main sources of income for Morocco in 2003, and the highest revenue from fishing came in the year 2000. Getting back to the details, the unreasonably high revenue earning sector for Morocco was tourism that brought just over a quarter of total revenue in 2003. Manufacturing and foreign and remittance, on the other hand, comprised the second and third most crucial economic sectors for this country and brought 45% of the revenue. The lowest revenue came from agriculture, which was only 2%, whereas fishing earned almost 13% of the total revenue, which was just 1% less than the revenue earned from the petroleum sector. Based on the column graph, Morocco earned less than half a billion US dollars from fishing in 1982 and the next year this revenue surged to nearly 2 billion. The revenue continued to rise and in 1997 and almost touched 3 billion. The highest fish related income in Morocco came in the year 2000 and the revenue in this year from fishing was well over 4 billion USD. Afterward, Revenue dropped and in the next two years remained stable at approximately 3.8 billion. In 2003, income from fishing significantly dropped and reached below $2 billion. 
Moving on to the graph 2, you should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The bar chart below shows the proportions of English men and women of different ages who were living alone in 2011. The pie chart compares the numbers of bedrooms in these one-person households. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. Okay, now we have two graphs again. We have a bar graph which shows living alone in England by age and gender in 2011. And on the other hand, we have number of bedrooms in one person household in England in 2011, which is a pie chart. So here, let's take a look at the sample answer that can help you score a good band. The bar graph compares the ratio of English males and females from different age groups who lived individually in 2011, while the pie chart shows the number of bedrooms they had. Overall, more British women lived alone when they got older and most of these separately living persons' houses comprised of one to three bedrooms. According to the bar chart, more British females, roughly 55%, lived alone than of males in 2011. This is particularly true for the aged women since roughly 70% of them lived separately compared to less than 30% males over 65 years old. The ratio of both genders living in solitary who were 50 to 64 years old in 2011 was exactly the same. However, younger English males preferred to live individually more than their female counterparts. Six out of ten on average were men who lived solo when they were younger, 16 to 49 years old. The highest percentages of single males of this category were between 35 to 49 years old, whilst this ratio was inflated for the women over 80 years old. In contrast, the pie chart depicts that most of the single person's houses had one to three bedrooms and two bedroom houses for such people was the maximum, around 35%, exceeding the three bedroom apartments by roughly 6%. Scarcely, they had fairly larger houses with many rooms and around one fourth of these homes had only one room. Thank you so much for watching this video and keep watching more us writing videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.